June came, and with it, 5 new free assets at the Unreal Engine Marketplace. We have 3 environment assets, a super cool weapon customization system, and an inventory and equipment system with different rarities. Let's start with the weapon customization system. You have 7 different customable parts for a weapon, that each and every one of those changes its look and stats. Lot of skin colors with the possibility to simply make your own. Saving system with 6 different slots and custom names. Currency unlocking system and a lot of other things. This is a super useful asset that even if you don't want to use, you can learn a lot from about data tables, interactive UI and a lot of other things. The lookout tower is an environment asset with 4 assets, a lake, mountains and well, the lookout tower. It has 164 different assets. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. And there's not much to say about it. Next is the low poly viking top down asset. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It has more than 400 models, including weapons, particle systems, many other things and 10 demo maps. Environments assets are always good, just grab it for free and maybe you will find something useful here for the next project. Before the inventory system, the last environment asset is the science fiction Valitone. It has 90 different meshes. If you are making a project with a desert biome, you can definitely use it. And again, even if you are not, just grab it while it's free. You can never know what you will need in the future. And for the last one, the adventurous inventory kit. It has player stat system, which affected by your equipment, equipment UI with different realities and stats, inventory UI with different item types and a really nice UI. I say a lot of UI, but its UI is really useful. As well, it's super easy to add your own items and item types, and it's all network replicated. Grab this asset as soon as you can, it's super useful, you will use it a lot. And even if you don't want to use it, as I said for the first one, just download it to see and learn how they do all those things, and maybe even grab some materials to your own game. If you want to learn about motion matching, there are links over here to my part 1 and the latest part, which is about choosers and armed animations. Don't forget to like the video and comment, it really helps me a lot. Subscribe to see more, and have a beautiful day. Peace.